Good morning friends we are connected now I am Swapna and welcome to Vlan channel friends in continuation with the CDP series today we are going to learn about one important psychologist known as Edward Thorndike friends if you are new to the channel or not subscribed to the channel please subscribe it friends aapki demand thi ki videos teaching english mein ho so today i am going to make this video in english please let me know your comments in the comment section so friends uh, edward thorndike is known as the father of educational psychologist he is an american psychologist and why is he known as the father of educational psychologist the first question important question you need to know friends edward thorndike was a psychologist who did experiments on animals so he is also an animal psychologist he was from america and he believed that the experiments which were conducted on animals the results could be applied on humans so in the year 1898 in his famous book animal intelligence he brought about his experiment he conducted on cat fish and this experiment is known as that uh, is developed as a trial and error theory in psychology educational psychology his experiment is important in pure psychology but the laws which were developed from this experiment are important in educational psychologist friends it is not that he developed the laws there were few laws principles which were before thorndike but thorndike compiled all these laws in his book called animal intelligence so when the question comes who wrote animal intelligence it's thorndike friends let's see about the experiment first psychology without stories is incomplete so what thorndike did is thorndike took a cat and he put it in a box and he closed that box that box was known as a puzzle box hindi mein use कूट वाटिका मराठीत कूट वाटिका आपण म्हणतो फ्रेंड्स अँड वॉट ही डिड इज ही पुट अ फिश इन फ्रंट ऑफ दॅट बॉक्स पजल बॉक्स द कॅट इन साईड अँड द फिश आउटसाईड ही क्लोज द बॉक्स द पजल बॉक्स अँड वॉट ही डिड इज देर वॉज ही अटॅच अ लिव्हर टू द पजल बॉक्स सो द कॅट वॉज इन साईड इफ द लिव्हर इज प्रेस द puzzle box could be opened now cat seeing the fish a dead fish outside the smell of the fish made the cat uh, very uh, restless the cat was hungry and the cat wanted to eat the fish but it couldn't come outside the box it tried so much went to the door went to the sides but it couldn't open it was going here and there inside the box ultimately the cat was trying 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 and in in the efforts the cat put uh, the leg on that lever so when the cat put the leg on the lever the door opened and the cat came outside ate the fish so this is the experiment is the cat tried 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 and then after the trial she could open the door of the box that when you do something when you do something again and again again and again you will fail but you should keep on trying 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 and you will succeed trial and error method when you try you will not succeed at first the cat did not succeed at first it tried tried and then it succeeded so his theory is very famous and the theory is known as trial and error method मराठी मे वी कॉल दिस थेरी एस प्रयत्न प्रमाद पद्धती चुका व शिका दिस इज कॉल्ड एज चुका व शिका मीन्स यू डू मिस्टेक्स अँड यू लर्न सो दिस थेरी इन एज्युकेशन सायकोलॉजी थॉन्डाईट अप्लाईड इट फॉर चिल्ड्रन दॅट वेन चिल्ड्रन लर्न दे मेक मिस्टेक्स दे ट्राय 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 दे मेक मिस्टेक्स अँड दॅन दे लर्न द so this this theory applied in education is very very important and famous so this this is the theory which thorndike gave but from this theory he derived some principles 
there are three important principles which Thorndike gave from this theory of his trial and error. Try karo or seekho, then you will be able to learn. So the first principle of learning, Thorndike says, trial or error method may in the trial and error method, he says the first law for psychology, for a child psychology is law of readiness. Yane tatparta ka law, what is the law of readiness? Thorndike says that to learn something, a child must be ready to learn. What is readiness? The child must be emotionally stable. Physically, he should be fit. He should not be ill, sick. A sick child will not be able to learn. He should be emotionally stable. Socially also, he should be stable. And then cognitive, buddhimata, from his intelligence side, he should be ready to learn. That means, if you are teaching a child of 5th standard, you have to teach him according to his level of understanding. You cannot teach maths or science concept of 10th standard to a child of 5th standard. So, the child is not ready to learn because he will not be able to understand due to his intelligence, due to his thinking. So, teach the child when he is ready. Many times the, child, the children are not ready when we teach them. And so learning is not fruitful, effective. We see in our schools, we see with our children. So, for example, if you take a horse near the water, if the horse is not hungry, the horse will not drink the water. The horse will just stand. You can take the horse to the water, but you cannot make it drink. The same way, you cannot teach a child who is not ready. So, the first law of learning is law of readiness. In Hindi, we call it, Marathi, we call it law of tatparta. Niyam tatpartesa niyam. The second law is law of practice, exercise. Thorndike says, ki if you practice the same thing again and again, again and again, trial and error method, the cat was practicing opening the door. If you make a child to practice, exercise, to do it again and again, the child will gain expertise in doing that thing and he will learn fast. This law is particularly applied to children who are slow learners. They cannot learn fast so when you give them homework, when you give them assignments, they keep on practicing and practice makes a child perfect. This is what Thorndike said in his law of practice. Saravasa Niyam. Saravene do the thing which is again and again karo. So you will be perfect. So children, jo mand gati ke hai, for them, this law is very useful. For example, if you want to learn sports, you cannot go on the field and do and score a 100 run in cricket match in your first match. You have to practice for years, hours, months. Then you will know the technique. So practice is important for all the children, all the types of learners. The third law is law of effect. Yani prabhav ka parinam. So, Thorndike said, S, Thorndike ka sabse important principle, very important principle, S R bond. Stimulus, response, bond. S means stimulus means chetak. R means uh, uh, the situation, paristiti, what you create. And bond means the interaction. S R bond. What he says, Thorndike, if there is a stimulus, if you, you uh, in an experiment, the fish was put in front of the cat. The response was the cat tried to open the door and then there was a reaction. There was a bond and there was a reaction. Cat tried to open the door. So SR bond. SR bond is the principle which is very, very important given by Thorndike. SR bond. Friends, he says there is a law of effect related to this principle. Prabhav ka parina. What he says, ki if you do something, if a child does the homework correctly, he will be appreciated by the teachers. So, what he will do, there is a response to his action. He is appreciated and what he will feel positive, 
he will be rewarded in the class he will get 5 out of 5 marks star milega he will get star but if it if it does something wrong there will be try again comment of the teacher so if there is such thing he will not be motivated so this is just like a punishment so thondike used this word punishment first time in his laws of learning and so punishment was the word which was used by thondike in learning so he says agar if a child has good experience because of his action he will feel happy he will try to do that thing but if he has a negative experience if he is not appreciated if he is punished or if he is not liked he will not do that thing again and again he will refuse to do that thing so in child psychology when we are teaching children education psychology we are teaching children children should always be motivated they should be appreciated they should be rewarded and they never there should be a fear of punishment so the child will not do that thing he will not be able to learn so reward and punishment these words were used by thorndike in his law of effect prabhav va saparinam ha ek important niyam ye important niyam thorndike ne diye hai so thorndike gave three important laws the law of readiness tatparta sa niyam the law of practice or exercise abhyas sarav ka niyam and third is the law of effect prabhav ka niyam these laws are very important in educational psychology so friends today we saw thorndike his experiment and his three important laws which are asked in questions for tet exam hope you understand this theory meet you in the next video thank you so much